Normal words like spalling, bare bones, broadcasting. Of all the things I say, this goes along with it. And everything I say. But I've squandered my American... Ah! I wish that word was struck from my vocabulary and my mind. I squandered my United States citizenship, and I'm very, very sorry. I squandered my living citizenship, and I'm very sorry. I was told what was on my mind I couldn't possibly do. I went and played. I'm very sorry. I did not get prepared for what's coming out of me right now at all. I'm experiencing some kind of mammal maturity, and by God, I ain't ready for it. And I find the planet is. Any lovely remark trying to get out of me, and you are worthy of it, you're ready. I ain't. Talking with you and overseeing you and your whole history. You're, you've got this much lovely, this much sour. Not ready for a lovely remark? Ha! You've always been ready for a lovely remark. And everyone living for this long failing it. That's all. For that, we're quite efficient at it. Simple as that. I'm sorry I didn't get ready to say that more precisely and specifically in so many ways in your reasoning that you are caught aware of this much lovely with you and this much sour is not getting heard as an idea right now. Not an idea. Not going to work. It's taking lovely people putting them in a place they're playing dumb to do. Police officer eyes after police officer's eyes. George Bush's eyes after George Bush's eyes. Did he eat the first George Bush? How about Thomas Jefferson? Is he George Bush? Because you talked about him the same. You know what he did. You know, his dad wasn't president at first. He locked the White House and said, Bye! I'm correct. And not anybody that doesn't, I want to know why. They're horrified. They're afraid you track them down and charge them with some crime. The president locked the White House and we all lost one day of work. Come! Come! Shut up! You go to the White House as a liar. Don't go there with a do-good in your heart because that's not what they're doing there. Said my dad to me and he was a lobbyist there. You go with something to sell and trade, and you're going to have to steal it yourself to get it. Then, thief, you go to the White House and see what you can do. Otherwise, stay out of town! It eats do-gooders! Ask David Wu! Yay, David Wu! I salute you! David Wu, and anybody that doesn't is a loon tune. David Wu, for more about you than you know about you. David Wu, here's how you strike humans inside. That's enough, Mr. Wu. Thank you. What well, do I tell you? Far too good for Washington, D.C., as most of you are. Know it. Washington, D.C. is where the best goes. They go quietly behind the scenes and do the work of God Almighty. What a bat! Are you the best? Go behind the scenes. Apply your hands to God's heart. You won't have to go very far. you got more than you know what to do with it. Don't go anymore. Oh, I don't have time. I'm doing, I'm helping so many. I don't have time to help one. Well, then you're, you're wrong. That's wrong. I don't work. That's not God's hands. God doesn't over, knows what it can take on it. And you're not God. I wrote the script. You wrote the script. You did write the script. I wrote a lovelier script and a crappier script. And you tell them. All right. You see my mouth moving? Lovelier script and crappier script. The Puka wrote the script. Do it. Do God. Quietly. Stay the hell out of Washington. Move. That's not where God goes. Nope. They won't pay no attention to God there. And you know they won't. That's not why they're there. And they're going to mock God. 
Did God show up there once before? Call them blasphemers. Told them it wouldn't be forgiven. Want that to happen again? You're claiming everybody gets forgiven. Well, God said that ain't so. Well, you keep that well in mind. When God went to Washington, you don't want that happen again, do you? You want another president assassinated again? Do you? Huh? Pull God out of Washington. Put God where God wants. Give Washington a hand. That's what I heard Washington say one day. Put on your hands of God. Contribute to Washington in quiet places. That's what he said. Bang! And shot him. He was the president. And to us, ain't nobody come before him or after like him. Want to bet? You witnessed that and were alive in that time? Mm -hmm. One president's been here. I can affirm you. Or two. Mr. Bush said that very with his eyes and winks. He was, he was selling out. He was, I, every week was an SOS. Help me. Help me. <laughs> I heard him. He looked like Jeremiah caught in a little basket. And, and the king of Babylon sent us to rescue you. The citizens. The warriors of Babylon. Let's charge Israel and rescue the president. Caught in a little basket like Jeremiah. Let's rush Babylon. Warriors. Because Israel's in big trouble. I got Joshua locked up in a basket somewhere in a cave. Let's go rescue him. I saw it in a movie once. Astounding scene. Are you? Yes. Well, the king of Babylon sent us to rescue you, prophet of Israel, during an invasion of Babylon, or by Babylon. Remember, the subject of that is hypocrisy and irony. Irony and hypocrisy and a little skits humans play in it. That's the subject of the Bible. Everyone knows the subject of the book. I've been subject to God and living stuff out here, not in between pages of a book. That's not the subject of God and living and creation and stuff. It's out here. When the nervous system touches, you can relate to it. Can't relate to a book. Can't relate. 